Good morning everybody, Chris here with High Seas Cruising. Today we are doing a ship tour of the Ruby Princess. Now deck number four is just where you disembark at the port. So the ship really starts on deck number five, no deck number 13. So we're gonna go to deck number four and start working our way up. All right, so we start here at the International Cafe. Now this is 24 hours a day, but you can get all kinds of snacks. We'll come over here and take a look. You can get all kinds of snacks here at the International Cafe. This is also where you come and get your morning coffee. And like I said, 24 hours a day. Now right next to the International Cafe is the Good Spirits. And you have Michelangelo's dining room. A quick little peek in the dining room. They are setting up for breakfast here. Okay, this is the midship elevators on deck five. So that was the midship stairs. This is your midship elevators. You have your future cruise desk. You have the Vines wine bar. And all that is here off of the main piazza. And also here on deck five is the art gallery. Okay, now everything else forward here on deck five past the art gallery is just cabins, but there is one thing I want to show you up in the cabin area. All right, there are self-service laundry rooms here on board the ship. So if you happen to need to do any of your laundry, iron, you can get uh, your tokens here for the machines, everything that you need, because they are still token driven here. Including your soap. There are self-service laundries and they are across the passenger decks as you go up on to the higher levels. But this one here is the one down on deck number five. All right, and that brings us back to the art gallery.
they also have the inter internet cafe over here. And then this here will be a second entrance into the main dining room, into Michelangelo's. They got your little maps. They also have all these little placards around the ship that let you know where everything is, kind of points you in the right direction. Yeah, so they also have the electronic screens around the ship. They give you different information, always has a map. Shows you where you are on the ship currently. You can change decks right here. You can um, look for people you're looking for or show where you are on the ship. Staterooms, your muster station. You can locate people that are on your group with you. Show restrooms. And it has the medallion location right there, so it may ask you, of course, for your medallion. You just place it right there, and it'll give you all kinds of information. It will also play games. So these things are very interactive and can be very, very useful. All right, so we are now on deck six, midship Fiesta, the Fiesta deck. And we are midship on port, yeah, midship port side. Now up here you have the Da Vinci dining room that is directly above the Michelangelo. Okay, yep, this was an 80s crew, so there'll be lots of little 80s things everywhere. All right, so we have the entrance to the Da Vinci dining room. You got restaurants, you got the Mandolin Bay, which is one of the shops here on board the ship. Overlooking the piazza. Stairs up to deck number seven. You have your guest services desk. And of course you have your Gatsby Casino. Now this is the cigar lounge, this is the speakeasy. The casino, now this side here on the port side is the smoking side of the casino. But they got lots of machines they do have the casino bar right here and like I said this left side is the smoking side the port side of the ship and then the starboard side is not I said the speakeasy which was where we just went through that's the cigar lounge if you are not a fan of smoke or the smell of smoke you're not gonna want to go in that room at all You have the conference center. And you have an entrance into the Princess Theater. It's kind of a long winding hallway, just a little bit. But it brings you directly into the Princess Theater. It's got three tiers, sort of. 
So you got, you know, one right here, then there's one right here, and then it comes across on the floor area. Alright, so that is the Princess Theater. We're gonna head back out. Now there's, of course, entrance on both sides of the ship. And there's also entrances up on deck number seven. But we're gonna continue moving back on deck number six. You have your forward elevators and stairs, and it brings you back into the casino on the starboard side. So this is the other half of the casino. So that brings us back to here towards the piazza. So we have guest services again. So we start the shops over here. You have the Calypso Co. And this is going to have your duty-free shop. It's going to have your liquor, your cigarettes. Got some snacks in there. I don't know how well we'll be able to see through the glass here. And then right next to that one is going to be your regular, you know, where you get your logo items, your princess logo items. You want shirts, hats, those sort of things. You will get those there. That brings us back to midship here on deck six. And then the back half of deck six, here is the Da Vinci dining room. And now we are on deck six aft, and down here, you're going to have the entrance to the Bonicelli dining room. So there is the third dining room, and it is down here on deck six aft. Now we'll take a look right here to show you because deck six is split into two different sections. So here's where we were on deck six, you know, the theater and you have the Da Vinci dining room. Then you have the kitchen area and then is Bonicelli. So in order to access this, you have to go up to deck seven, down, and then back down to deck six. There is no straight through access, but this is the entrance to Bonicelli in the aft section of deck number six. All right, so now we are on deck seven, the promenade deck, and we are at the aft elevators. So we are gonna start off here, and this is Club Fusion, which is deck seven aft. They do several different events in here. They do some game shows, some trivia, some concerts.
All right, so we are moving forward here on deck seven. First, you have the ocean front. Now, you can come here and learn a lot about the medallion class. They usually have somebody here. They also have some giant screens that you can use. Now, you can also come here if you want different accessory items for your medallion. This is one place you can get them here on board the ship. So you don't have to just wear it around your neck. You can get all kinds of different options. That brings us down here to the photo gallery. Now when the photo gallery is open, all of these panels here along the wall they open up and they have all of the pictures back behind them. But that's all in this hallway and then you have your steakhouse. Stop here on the menu if you guys need to pause and take a look at the menu for the Crown Grill. But that is one of the specialty restaurants here on board the ship. All right, so next we are at the Explorers Club. And they have their bar area. Now in here they do different activities, they do some of the enrichment activities in here. They've also done some trivia, had some music concerts. So that is the Explorers Club. Now we're gonna continue making our way on deck seven aft, towards the aft. So we're now here at midship. You do have entrances and exits out onto the promenade. You have the midship elevators. More midship elevators. You have the essence store. And then here on deck seven midship, you have the crooners bar.
So here on the right is going to be the Epi store. And here on the left is going to be the Wheelhouse Bar and the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, one of the specialty restaurants on board the ship. So this is the side you'll be in if you're here for the gastro pub to eat. And then of course, the wheelhouse bar. All right, we're gonna keep moving forward here on deck seven. And you have the tour desk. This is where you come to if you have any questions, concerns about shore excursions. brings us to the forward elevator section here and the upper entrance into the Princess Theater. All right, so we are outside here on deck number seven. Now, depending on the weather, it can depend on whether or not this actually goes all the way around the ship. But it does go up here. You'll have a set of stairs take you up to deck number eight, go around the bow of the ship, and then come back down on the other side of deck number seven. Now, both sides of the outside promenade are the same. So we're heading towards the aft of the ship here on deck seven.
So we are heading forward on deck seven. Now the aft area back there was a little noisy with the wake, but it is a great viewing area. Not a lot of people go back there. Not a lot of people, it doesn't ever really get too crowded. All right, so we are up here at the forward section. And right there in front, now sometimes they're open and sometimes they're not. But you can go up these stairs right here when it is open. And it goes all, wraps, continues all the way around on the bow. Now technically that's deck eight, but depending on the weather and the seas is whether or not this is open or not. As you can see this morning it is closed. But that does give you a viewing area over the bow there on deck number eight when it is open. Now, other than that area, deck eight, deck nine, deck 10, deck 11, 12, they are all the cabin areas. There is no deck 13 on the ship. So now we're gonna head up to deck number 14 all right we are currently on deck 14 aft now all the rest of deck 14 is cabins but there is one area here on the deck 14 aft and that is going to be the terrace pool So this is directly aft over the ship and you have a pool area back here a bar area Alright, now that will bring us up here to deck number 15, where the Cafe Carby, I believe that's how you pronounce that. So back here, they call this one Cafe Carby. This is like a smaller version of the buffet back here. Has a lot of the stuff the main buffet has on it, but a little bit of a smaller selection and it is separated from the main buffet. But plenty of seating back here. Now the buffet is unique on this ship from what I've seen. It's split into two, so there's two sides. A port side, a starboard side, you know, left or right. But there is a kitchen in the middle. So you can only access one side if you want to go to the other side, which is identical. It's a mirror, it's on the other side over there. You have to either go to the midship elevator or to the aft elevators that we just passed and go across or you have to come up here to the mid-shift elevators and go across. Now 
and that brings us out here onto the pool deck here on deck 15. So you have one of the pool bars, the main pool area here, or one of your main pool areas here, it has two hot tubs, the jumbo screen. Your entrance to the midship elevators is over there. We are gonna keep moving aft. You have a slice. Now this is your pizza location here on board the ship. Let you know the different kind of pieces you can get. And next to that is coffee and cones. You can get some coffee. It's where you get your soft serve ice cream. And they also have a specialty ice creams there as well you can get. And then you have a second pool area. But again, you have two hot tubs in the main pool. Entrance to the midship elevators. This is going to be the Salty Dog Grill. Now this one here is complimentary. This is everything you get at the Salty Dog Grill. They have table tennis up here. Then you have the mix, which is another one of the pool bars here on board the ship. Head inside here on deck 15. Now the forward half of deck 15 is the cabins. You have your forward elevators, but we are actually going to keep going forward here on deck 15. They have to go through all the forward section of cabins to get to this next location. Okay, so we are all the way forward on deck 15. And you'll see these nondescript doors right here. And due to weather and wind, they have it blocked off so we can't access it. But you go outside right here, there's a set of stairs, and there is a forward viewing area that is right on top of the bridge. But with the high winds and the seas a little rough this morning, they're not letting us out there. But that is accessible through the very front of deck number 15. All right, so we are now on deck 16 forward. And that brings us to the Lotus Spa. You 
You can also see down into the spa pool area. And then you have the fitness center. And that is here in the Lotus Spa area. Spa area, which is opposite of the spa pool. You have your treatment rooms. All right, so now we are heading outside on deck number 16. And we're going to start off by heading forward here on deck 16. Now here is the bridge area or above the bridge area that we could not get to um, because they had it closed off but this is you can see it down onto deck 15 from up here on 16. All right, so we walked back around due to them having the gate closed on the other side. But that brings us back over here to deck 16. You have the Trade Winds Bar here on deck 16. And then you also have the smoking area here on deck 16. You can see it over there in that little corner right there.
jumbo screen for movie uh, movies under the stars additional seating area Now we're continuing aft on deck number 16. All right, so now we are in the aft section of deck number 16. And down here you have Sabatini's Italian restaurant. So this is also one of the specialty restaurants here on board the ship. So this is Hidalgo's here, one of the bar and lounge areas here on board the ship. And then directly across from that is the entrance into Sabatini. And that is here on the aft deck on deck number 16. All right, so now we are on deck 17, the sports deck. Now we are on deck 17 forward because deck 17 is split into a couple of different parts. But here on deck 17 forward, they have additional seating and sun monitors. And they also have the sanctuary. Okay, the sanctuary is the adults only area on board the ship. You can come in here and take a quick look. Now technically, this is the, a paid area, so you can either pay for a half a day or a full day pass to come in here to the sanctuary. And they have very comfortable seating. As you can see, they have sections to get massages. But this is the sanctuary. And it overlooks the spa pool that we saw down in the Lotus Spa. So you have two additional hot tubs and a pool area down there. Access the next section of deck 17 
we have to go down across deck 16 in order to access the other part of 17, which you guys can see right over there. All right, so now we are on deck number 17 midship, overlooking the pool area. And it is just an additional seating area. But this is a section right here, especially if you want to watch movies under the stars or see any of the movies on the screen. This is a good place to sit. It's up high. All right, so now we are on the aft section of deck number 17, the sports deck. And uh, the other side of this wall is your kids clubs areas. All right, so now we are on deck 17 app. The deck 17 app is going to be the entrances for your kids club. So you have the beach house, age 13 to 17. You have camp discovery. Here in the lodge, you have ages eight to 12. And then you have the tree house, which is ages three to seven. So these are gonna be your kids clubs area here in Camp Discovery. And this is in the aft section of deck 17. All right, so we now we are heading up to deck 18 forward. And deck 18 forward is just a small viewing area. Just to give you a high point here on the ship. All right, so now we are deck 18 aft. And back here on deck 18, they have the Skywalker nightclub.
Right, so that is the Skywalker nightclub here on deck 18 aft. All right, now we are up on deck number 19. They have a small sports court area here. This is also technically the jogging track up here on deck 19. And they have the miniature golf. See the jogging track arrows. Now you have to go around this little section 16 times to get to one mile. But from up here on deck 19, you can see all the way down. There's a pool we saw on 17. The hot tub. All the way down to deck number 14. And deck number 19 is the highest passenger area here on board the ship. All right, and that is our tour of the Ruby Princess. All of us said no deck 13. She is quite a big ship, quite a lot to look at. Layout's, a, you know, it's a little interesting compared to some of the other cruise ships we have seen, but definitely a beautiful ship. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tour. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps the channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video, Hope everyone's having a really great day, and like always, we will see you out on the high seas.